So hey there guys, this is my um, small scale, I guess, RC uh, wind tunnel. Uh, I have a whole bunch of stuff on it, so I'm going to go ahead and run through it real quick. I posted a video of it uh, running the smoke through the body. Uh, that I did that at around 8.5 miles an hour. Uh, I can bring it up to 10.5 miles an hour, but as of right now, that's, you know, that's what I have it set up for because the smoke... Um, it kind of goes through too quickly when I put it on the ten and a half miles an hour. Um, I have a power supply here that controls the all the fans, like front and back, and then the air pump for the smoke and uh, also the lights. So I have a little light switch here. You can't really tell. And that's the white, and then that's the blue. Oh, I can just take, you know, I control it through here. And then um, I also have, uh, like I said, I have the air pump so that I can use this vape, uh, vape pen here to get the smoke to go through. I have these right here so that I could also set them up straight and get, you know, get smoke all out of all of them to see how the body reacts to that. Uh, this is the knob that I use to set up the speed of the fan and they are both 800 CFM fans this one's a smaller diameter though and I did that on purpose because it being a smaller diameter pushing the same amount of CFMs means that this one spins faster and this one uh, spinning faster is able to bring the speed up another two two miles an hour in the wind tunnel now this wind tunnel it's mainly just to do the smoke test. Uh, the um, the bigger wind tunnel is coming up later, and that one's the one that I'm going to get the high speed uh, wind through, so that I can actually test suspension and bodies and wings and all that stuff in order to see how much weight they put on each individual wheel. I have those little scales that you put under it, and that way we'll be able to tell how fast it's going. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on now. It's really loud, so bear with me. So that's the rear fan when it sucks the air through. That makes the air flow that way. And then if I want it to go faster, I'll just get this knob here. And I can adjust it to see you know, how fast I want it to go. So right there with both of them on, you get about ten and a half miles an hour and of course you know gradually I can bring it down until I turn it off and when I do turn it off it comes back down to eight and a half miles an hour uh, I'll go ahead and turn it off so you can hear me and then of course I have a lid for it there's the body and the lid so it'll insert there so it doesn't affect the flow of the air inside and uh, that's pretty much the wind tunnel right now. Uh, I will be, like I said, I will be making one a high speed wind tunnel. And then I'll be able to tell, you know, how much of a difference the spoiler makes. Uh, in theory, you know, the higher you go, the more pressure you're going to put on that back wheel. So I'll be able to tell with the little scales that I have. And uh, give you guys some actual numbers. Anyways, uh, that's the basic design. Uh, thanks for watching.